Hey everyone, so um, I have something exciting today because Derek the Rockmaster sent me two boxes and I cannot wait to see what's inside of them. I told him I would not open them until I was on camera. So let's find out. I, I'm really excited because he said there's some amazing stuff in there. So yeah, let's, let's just find out. Okay, so there's a big box and then a bigger box. So we're gonna start with the big box, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I can already see there's a ton of stuff in here. Oh gosh. You know, I had another thing I was gonna unbox during this video, and I'm, after seeing this, that might have to be a different video. What do we got here? One sec. Okay, this is cool. We have Mississippian fossils. There's blastoids, crinoids, and Archimedes, which is a plant fossil. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are cool. So this is the blastoid, for sure. They're so cool. <laughs> I love blastoids. I've always wanted to find a blastoid. We, I think we might have them in certain parts of Montana, but I honestly don't know. And I believe this is the Archimedes. Look at that, perfect little spiral. That is so cool. Two of those and then these, actually these might be the Archimedes. Perfect little twigs. This is next. I'm gonna look at the slip before I look at it. Calamites, horsetail. Okay, cool, Pennsylvanian. I think Kyle gave me one of these once. They're so cool, look at that. <laughs> Plant fossil. Love the texture on the outside, it's so cool. Here's the next one. Gethite on fossil clam. Ooh, ooh, whoa. I was not expecting one of the Florida calcite clams with gethite on it, that's awesome. Dude, look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. I've definitely never seen that before. That is crazy. Okay, these are crazy. One's still wrapped, but oh my gosh. Look at that. So that is an arc shell. That's not a uh, calcite clam like you normally see. I don't think this is the same spot, but he took me to one of those spots once, and yeah, it's so, so weird seeing the calcite shell fossils, but they're not like your normal whelks and clams. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that arc shell. That has some beautiful calcite on it, oh my gosh. Holy crap, that is amazing. This one just feels and looks like a clam. Let's see it. Oh my goodness, dude, what? <laughs> That just kept getting nicer the more I unwrapped it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at the hollow in there. Are you serious? That's so cool. It's like almost all of the shell is gone. So it's just like the calcite crystal cast left behind. Are you serious? That's crazy. I bet I know where this one came from. That is so pretty. Okay, we've got a whole bag with one label and that makes me excited. <laughs> Ponderosa brachiopods, Kentucky. Okay, yeah, he sent me pictures of these when he was finding them and I'm very excited to see these. Okay, I did my best to not look at any of them, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I remember when he found these, he sent me pictures of them. These are geodized um, brachiopods. Oh my gosh, look at that zigzag texture. It's like he already cut this one, ready? Oh my gosh, ooh, he polished it too. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look at those, cur those crystals are crazy. Those are some gorgeous dog tooths. Sam got the nice brachiopod texture on that one. Oh my goodness. That is a deep pocket, look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then, oh, there's two more. I mean, yeah, you can just tell just by looking, that's a big brachiopod, oh my gosh. That's insane. Look at the crystals. And this one lasts, wow. Okay, look at the selenite blades on that one. And then I think that's the dolomite crystals, he said? Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Trying to unwrap all of the ones that have labels on them first. I don't know why, that's just the system I've <laughs> decided to go with. Okay, just got the label out. Almondine garnets and schist. Ooh. Ooh. What? 
Looks like he cut this one, but oh my gosh, look at see the the rasta. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at all the garnets. Wow. He said good for prep, so it might be fun to take the uh, air abrasion tool and just excavate the crystals, leave them in matrix. That is so pretty. Wow, that looks so different compared to the garnet schist I'm used to seeing in um, South Dakota. All right, this one doesn't have a label, but I can't help myself. Oh my goodness, wait a second, what are you? Ooh, wait for it, oh my gosh. Oh, you guys know I love these. Oh, cool, okay, so look, that is a calcite whelk in Matrix with another littler calcite whelk inside of it. <laughs> that is so cool. That might be a good one to prep. Actually, no, 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 no. Now that I'm looking closer, that's sand calcite. If you get up close on the matrix, that's not just like, those are all little clusters of sand calcite. So no, we will not be prepping that. That is so cool. Get some of the dust out of there. Look at that. I love these things so much. All right, what do we got here? Looks like another, oh my gosh. Yep, another arc shell. Look at you. I love the arc shells. I've, obviously I love the clams and the big whelks too, but I don't know, it's so cool. I mean, you, you never hear about how many other kinds of shells there are that also fill with calcite in Florida. Like the olive shells and the moon snails and the arc shells. Like everyone has heard of the, the, the whelks and the clams, but there's just so many other species that fill in with calcite and it's so cool to see. I see a clam in there. Let's see this. I still haven't looked at the pocket yet. Just trying to excavate it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is crazy. You've got the sand filled in on one side and then look at those crystals on the other side. Dude, Derek, I don't deserve you. <laughs> that is so nice. Oh my gosh. All right, what are you? There's no label on this one. Oh, okay, that's exactly what I was just talking about. That is an olive shell replaced by calcite in Matrix. What is that under it? Piece of shell. That is so cool. Look at the detail on the, the lip of that one. Itty bitty little crystals on that one. See, this is exactly what I was just referring to. There's so many different kinds of shells that get replaced by calcite. It's not just the clams. <laughs> All right, this one wasn't taped, so we're doing it next. Oh, look at that. Wow, that one's interesting. It's like a perfect internal cast replaced with calcite. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at how shiny it is because it's, again, it's an internal cast of the inside of the shell. So look at how shiny that is. That is so cool. That whirl is just perfect. Looks like we got another big one right here. I'm trying to do this carefully so that I'm not cutting into the fossil because sometimes they can be really, really fragile. Okay, this is definitely a calcite shell of some kind, but I don't know if it's a clam or a whelk yet. It looks like a whelk. Looks very, very welky. Oh yeah, that's a whelk. Look at you. Oh, I didn't even flip it over yet. Look at that. Wow. Let's get inside of that one. <laughs> Look at the way the crystals are like spiking off of the center coil. That is so cool. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what this is, but it's big and that has me excited. <laughs> oh gosh, no scalpel, don't fail on me yet. Okay, I see calcite. I don't know what kind of shell it is yet, but that is not small. <laughs> Here, let's unwrap it, backside facing us. Oh, it's crumbling a little bit. I think that, yeah, that's just matrix though. All right, ready for the reveal? Oh my goodness. So that would be the edge of a whelk. Look at, oh my gosh. Look at the crystals in there. That is unbelievable. Yeah, you can see that right there would be the edge of the shell. Oh my gosh. All right, they just keep getting bigger. <laughs> All right, same thing. I opened it backside facing out. That is a nice big clam. Look at that. All right, ready? 
Oh, wow. Look at the size of those crystals. Those are some huge points in there. Oh my gosh. I feel like I know where this one came from too. This looks familiar. <laughs> of course, we didn't find any like this that day. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I love, okay, so look. Huge crystals throughout most of it, and then if you rotate it a little bit and look inside, look at the little like druzy crystals. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, I had no idea what Derek was sending. I knew he was sending me stuff because he just said that there are two big boxes headed your way. Um, <laughs> happy birthday, basically. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that has me intrigued. What are you? That doesn't look like, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Moon snail filled with calcite. Oh my gosh, I love these things. I found some when we went out together, but they were such thin little layers that they they did not ship very safely. I think I got two that came back safely, but this one's way bigger than any of those, obviously. Oh my gosh, look how nice that is. For example, okay, so this is why I love these. There's so many shells in Florida. It's not just clams and whelk. So like, you've got this calcite filled olive. They still exist today in Florida. Pretty much unchanged. This is a bigger one, but yeah, they look the same as they did back then. And then we've got this moon snail right here. Again, they still exist in Florida to this day. <laughs> Hardly, just, ah, oh, they're basically the same thing. How cool is that? This definitely looks like a calcite specimen of some kind. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. That is such a weird one, because you can see the perfect inner coil. <laughs> the inner coil is perfectly intact. I don't know if that one's a whelk. That almost looks more like a tulip shell. That is so cool. All right, and last one from this box. Okay, matrix side facing up. <laughs> the anticipation. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, I might have to prep that one because that looks like such a nice well. I, yeah, I think we gotta prep at least one of these. <laughs> not to expose, or not, sorry, not to extract, but to expose. Um, I like prepping them in a way where the shell is still perfectly embedded, but you can make a nice little base for it to stand up on. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking pretty. Okay, um, well, here's the first box <laughs> unpacked. Holy calcite, amazing fossils, cool specimens, like, oh my gosh. And this was the smaller of the two boxes. Derek, I do not deserve you. You are too good to me. <laughs> I thought I was recording, I was not recording. So next we have Baker Thunder Eggs, which are amazing. He sent me pictures of these because he had a bunch and then he misplaced them and then he was very excitedly sending me pictures recently because he found the box. They're, they don't even, oh my gosh. The pictures don't do these justice at all. Look at the detail on this one. Look at those bands. Yeah, these are probably the prettiest thunder eggs I've ever seen. <laughs> We're only three in so far and yeah, I, I get it 100%. Wow, those are pretty, okay. Get some more out of here. Are you serious? I don't even have words. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm. I know I'm gonna probably offend a lot of people when I say this because there's a lot of people that really, really love thunder eggs. I've never seen thunder eggs that compare to these. That color is insane. And the patterns, it's not just like one big nodule. There's a bunch of little nodules also. But the fortifications in that one, are you serious? I had never heard of these until he told me about them and yeah. Now I'm wondering what I was doing with my life cause oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, um, I think these have ruined thunder eggs for me. <laughs> cause they'll never be this pretty. Oh my goodness. Little guy right here. Oh wow, that's dark. Wow. 
It's like if you took a Botswana agate and mixed it with a thunder egg. Okay, I take it back. These are almost like Laguna Lace thunder eggs. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. I've never seen thunder eggs with color like that. Ooh, these two, I think, go together. So let's go. I'm not looking at them yet. Getting them wet. Oh my goodness. Doesn't even look real. Are you kidding? That's crazy. I don't know. I like thunder eggs a lot. I've never, I've, I don't know. I, probably because I haven't found my own or cut too many of them. I've always thought they were really cool, but I never really understood them. I get it. I get it now. It's kind of the same way with obsidian. I didn't really understand obsidian because the only obsidian we have in Montana is just drab black. <laughs> and then World of Rockhounds set so, oh my goodness. Look at the crystal pocket. Anyway, <laughs> World of Rockhounds sent me some rainbow obsidian and mahogany obsidian and a few different kinds of sheen obsidian. And yeah, I was an instant convert. Let's see, we've got another bag here that is labeled. I'm not gonna I'm try not to look at what's in it. I just wanna look at the label. What are you? Oh, Starlights. He sent me some of the pictures. Okay, got it. Um, he sent me some pictures of some of the ones that he worked on. They're insane. They're so, so cool. Yeah, he, he prepped some of them. So they were just down to the crystal structure. And oh my gosh. I've never seen Starlights like the ones that he was sending me pictures of. <laughs> so that makes me really excited. I don't know how hard they are. So I don't know if I should use air abrasion or the scribe. I'll have to message him about that. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. The structure on these is just crazy. I'm actually not really familiar with the formation of starlights. I'll have to ask him about that. Oh, cool. Alabama stromatolite. That's actually awesome because we were literally just in Wyoming hunting for Wyoming stromatolite. Well, not specifically. Ah, one second. The Blue Forest Petrified Wood is surrounded by stromatolite, which is really just fossil algae algae and it's really really cool stuff so it's going to be interesting seeing how different alabama algae is compared or um, stromatolite is compared to the stuff that i'm used to finding and yeah right off the bat it's that is different looking weird here let's get this one wet oh wow that is so colorful. Yeah, that looks wildly different. That's so cool. All right, what's this? I see a note. Not gonna look at it. I just wanna slip the note out. Oh, it's stuck on. This is, ooh, a geodized crinoid from Kentucky. And oh my gosh, and he polished it. Look at how pretty that is. Dang, Derek. I need to find out what you're using to polish because that's a beautiful shine on that. That is so pretty. I want to see the outside. Wow, that looks wild. That is so cool. I wonder if it glows. Dang, a little bit. <laughs> that's how thick that agate layer on the inside is. Check that out. Wow. Dude, what? That is so cool. This is, ooh, Kyanite. I remember when he went on that trip and he sent me pictures and I was drool, oh my gosh. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? That is freaking beautiful. Yeah, that, um, that Kyanite, is leagues above all of the kyanite I have. It's all got all strandy and stuff. This stuff is not that way. Cause I've always wondered how people facet kyanite when it looks the way it does, but I've never seen kyanite like that before. Oh my God. Oh, look how dark blue that one is. This one's gonna be left to specimen. I'm not gonna facet any of these, but oh my gosh. Looks like it's on pegmatite. That almost looks like smoky quartz. I'm doing really good about not looking at any rocks until I read the the slip. Oh, okay, I know exactly what these are. 
He found these recently, and they're not the agonized coral you're gonna expect. <laughs> oh, yeah, look how pretty that is. Yeah, these are different. They're not the, like, you know, geode kind of agonized coral. They're, they're solid. Oh, look at the structure in that one. That is so pretty. Yeah, he sent me some to polish and to cab, but what I might be most excited about is this stuff is supposedly unbelievable for napping. So uh, yeah, we might have to try napping some of these at some point. Oh my gosh, look at the color. Yeah, that is that is crazy different. Oh hey, it's got some druzies in there. Some druzies. That is so different compared to all of the <laughs> agonized coral I've seen from, from Florida. This almost looks more like the Georgia stuff. I think Georgia. Elsewhere, still down south, but not Florida down south. You can see all of that polyp structure just perfectly. Yeah, we definitely gotta, gotta cut and polish. Oh yeah, you can see it really strong on the outside of that one. That corally goodness texture. Wow! Look at how strong the coral texture is on that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I think some some polishing and some cabbing is in order. Okay, so looking into the box, it would appear that there are three big things left. So let's find out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a dang second. What are you? All right, are we ready? Flip it, oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so um, he showed me some of these that he's found and when I was went over to his house when we were in Florida. This is crazy, so this is lignitized wood filled with smoky quartz crystals. That is so beautiful. Dude, I don't even have words. <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. Dang. Sorry, I'm getting lost. <laughs> getting lost in the rocks really quick. Wow, that is so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing sparkles before I even finish unwrapping it. Oh my gosh. Dude. Okay, so before I flip it over, you can really see the wood grain texture on that part right there. But that's all crystals. Then we flip it over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, let's get close up on some of these crystals. Look at the structure on those things. It is just so nice. I don't even, again, I just don't even have words. <laughs> those are pieces of petrified wood filled with smoky quartz. Like, are you serious? All right, and last one, and it looks like it is another one. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks like it got a little dinged during travel. All right, so, wood on the back side. We're gonna roll it over. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was zoomed in still. <laughs> Look at the crystals. Oh my gosh, uh, yeah dude, I don't even have words. Derek, dude, again, I just, I don't deserve you. You're too good to me. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely outstandingly beautiful. Look at the crystals. That is absolutely insane. All right, well, here's everything all together. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, dude. These are insane. These are so freaking nice, literally everything. Oh, I'm so excited to work with some of these corals. I can't wait to prep these starlights. Those baker eggs are insane. We definitely gotta polish a couple of those at some point. I cannot believe the crystals on these. Derek, dude, thank you so much, man. I, yeah. <laughs> Don't even have words, brother. Well, I had two other boxes to go through, but I think we're gonna have to do that in a different video. I was not expecting so much absolutely insane stuff.
Like I knew Derek was gonna send me some stuff and he said that it was gonna be really nice, but I'm speechless, blown away, <laughs> no words. Seriously, man, thank you so much. You're, you're so generous to me and I don't think I deserve some of this stuff. It's so freaking nice, dude. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get awkward when I don't know what to say. <laughs> Seriously, like, awkward laughs aside, <laughs> it is always very, very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, I cherish your friendship, and I look forward to many more hunts together. Actually, coming up pretty soon, hopefully. This is normally when I would say, um, let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments, but I don't even know how to pick. There's so much stuff, and they're, they're all so different. I literally don't have a favorite. They're all just so uniquely different. <laughs> I definitely am going to be doing another video at some point going through and working on some of the agonized coral and working on the starlights and there was another thing. Oh yeah, prepping some of the, the whelks because I think we can expose them a little more with the scribe. So everyone down in the comments give a giant shout out to Derek because yeah, Derek's one of a kind man. You'll never meet anyone like Derek. <laughs> so one more time, huge, huge, huge thank you to Derek, dude. Thank you so much, man. Love you, brother. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I was um, gonna be doing some other stuff, but I wasn't expecting just how much stuff was in here. <laughs> so I think this is a full video by itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Derek, so much. And I will have another one out very, very soon.